going on, everybody? Xavier Porter, Shoot the Fire, Brooklyn Fights Live for the Building You already know what it is. Back at it with another one, just chilling right now. Live and direct. I'm at work, so I got time to post up and drop a little video here and there and everything. Um, trying to figure out how to do the stream joints. <laughs> I'm going to figure that out soon enough. Once I, once I start going live and start streaming, we're going to we gonna have a good old time on YouTube because there's going to be a lot to discuss. We really go, we going to kick it off with a lot of, with a lot of, a lot of crazy subjects. So, you know, so I'm still learning YouTube. I know I got over whatever amount of subscribers and I appreciate y'all tuning in and giving the love and showing love. Um, like I said, if anybody can hit me up with some pointers, <laughs> show me how to go, go, how to learn how to go live because I'm just sitting here trying to go live for a minute now. But it keeps telling me I got to do something different. I don't know. So I'm getting confused about that. Anyway, so um, basically this post right here is about Jamel Herring and Shakira Stevenson, top MTB, MTK Global, WBO organization, and Carl Frampton. Now, in my opinion, my humble opinion, you know, I think Jamel Herring is a really good dude. You know, got a lot of love and respect for him. Uh, but I also feel like they, 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 boxed, they basically boxed him in, in the corner. You know what I mean? They boxed, it, they boxed the Marine in the corner. And I think within the next two to three fights, he'll probably, he may retire. He may retire from the, from the sport. I'm hoping I'm incorrect in saying this, but I believe they're trying to box him in to get, get that belt off of him so they can make way for Shakira Stevenson to take over the 130-pound division. Now, as we know, Shakira Stevenson is one of the best up-and-coming young f fighters in boxing. The, the uh, Olympic silver medalist uh, from the 2016 team, once he became a professional, he's just been dominant thus far. And each, in each and every fight, he's getting better, better, and better. There's no denying the young man's talent. There's no de denying the young man's skill. There's no denying the young man's greatness. He is the he is one of the youngest and elite and future stars in boxing. That's a fact. You know, straight out of Newark, he gets busy. <laughs> it is what it is. At Carl Frampton, the three division world champion, he's been he's he's you know the jackal as they call him, Irish Carl Frampton. You know, he's been through a lot of wars. He's had a lot of successful wins. You know, he, he did give Leo Santa Cruz um, his first loss. I was there live with that record at the Barclays Center at ringside. That was one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. I was live from ringside. Ask Stacy the Natural. Stacy the Natural and a whole lot of other people. We were live from ringside watching that Frampton and, 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 and um, Santa Cruz fight. That's the night I saw Al Heyman. And that's another story I'll tell y'all another day. The night I saw Al Heyman. I need to make a post about that. The night I, the night I spoke to Al Heyman face to face. Anyway, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Word mother, that's a whole other story. Y'all gonna be like, X is lying. And I wish, I, I wish I'd have kept the proof of that, like the video proof of that shit. But I'm gonna come back to y'all with another one of that one. So, yeah. So, Fred did he beat Santa Cruz that night. Hell of a fight that night. Them guys went to war back to back. Um... You know, like I'm saying, Carl Frank has been through a lot of wars. The way it tear his body, the amount of fights he's been through, that's what I mean when, when I say he's been through a lot of, you know, a lot of wars. Like, he just had a lot of hard fights. And you putting him up against Jamel Herring, who's also had a, a few tough fights in his, in his career also, you know. Uh, his last fight was a really tough fight for him. He did come away with the win. A lot of people were talking ish about him online, saying he quit, saying this, that, and the third. He's a Marine. First off, he is a Marine. Marines don't quit. You know what I'm saying? Marines is the first people you, you send to war. When we at war, they're the first people to hit the land and they go in and, and, and kick ass. Marines don't quit. So I don't care what anybody say. He got hit with a headbutt. He was, and he had a hard, difficult opponent in front of him. You know what I'm saying? But he still fought to the best of his ability and fought to the bell to the day. And fought to the end of the fight. Whether the rep stopped it or whether the, the fight got stopped, at the end of the, 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 amount of ring, the amount of rounds it was supposed to go, he still fought to the end. And Mel Henry has never been a quitter, and is not a quitter. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you try to get you they, the WBO is now sanctioning him 
the WBO, I said, is now sanctioning him to fight Carl Frampton before the end of the year. And the winner out of that, I agree. Hear me out. The winner out of that has 90 days to fight Shakira Stevenson. Now, Shakira Stevenson was the WBO featherweight champion. I don't know how he became the number one contender for the belt at 130. <laughs> I don't I don't know how that goes. That's probably something I gotta go, you know, look more into to see how the champion from one division who dropped his belt because Emmanuel Emmanuel Nevert or Neverte just won his belt yesterday, drops his belt, vacates his belt. I can't even go say drop, vacates his belt, goes to one thirty, and they automatically make him the number one contender to the to to the, to the champion and, and, the, and the number one and number one, the, he he becomes the number one contender against the two fighters fighting for the belt, which is the champion and the challenger. I don't know how that works. Maybe that's a WBO thing, but we've all seen that in a lot of other organizations, um, from the WBA, from the WBC to the IBF. We've all seen how these organizations play out. They pick and choose who they want it to be. I'm not saying Shakira Stevenson is not as an earth right. Become, a, become the mandatory challenger of the winner of that of the particular championship fight that's coming up. I'm not saying he hasn't earned that right. I'm just kind of shocked that it's happening so fast. Because when you look at the situations with Gary Russell, the WBC, you see that, hey, he, if that's the case, if he'd have dropped his belt, he should be granted the same opportunity to fight Miguel Burchup, per se. You know what I'm saying? Um, after Burchup fights Oscar De, um, Valdez. But either way, Jamel Herring, Carl Frampton. I'm riding with Herring. I believe Herring will defeat Frampton. Um, it's going to be a hell of a fight, though. Jamel Herring against Carl Frampton is going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be a tough, rugged, hard fight. And one thing about Herring, if he boxes from the outside and utilizes everything that he, you know, he can do from the southpaw angle, he's taller, he's longer. You know what I'm saying? He could set up some shots and he could possibly pick Frampton apart. If you listen to Bo Mack, who's also the head trainer of Terrence Crawford and Steve Nelson and a few other fighters in that team, you know what I'm saying? If you if you listen to, if you listen to the directions and the instructions, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough fight for for Frampton because one thing about from one thing about Frampton, he is gonna be the smaller guy, but he might but he might be the stronger guy because he loves to be a bulldog and come in. Fred loves to come in. He loves to get deep down, gritty, dirty, grind, grindy, get to that body, dig it on the inside, just break you down. Carl Frampton is a handful. Carl Frampton is a handful, man. He is a tough, tough, tough fighter. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be easy for Jamal Herring to, do, to defeat a, a Carl Frampton when they fight for the WB, WBO 130-pound super featherweight title. Now, with that being said, I'm picking Heron to win, right? I'm picking Heron to win. Even if Heron doesn't win, and Carl Frampton walks away with the belt. He, he has 90 days. They both have 90 days. Whoever wins the fight, the WBO is saying they have 90 days to fight Shakir Stevenson. Now, how this is breaking down, this is where you get the promotion game in place. Because Jamal Heron used to be with PBC. Then he went to top rank. Had a couple fights with top rank. And it's kind of funny that immediately, immediately that his last fight with top rank, which was a tough bout, and people were saying that he quit and everything. Excuse me. <clears throat> people were saying that he quit and everything. He went and signed with MTK Global. Now, isn't MTK Global the same promoter, Frank Warren and them? Aren't they the same promoter for, for, for Carl Frampton? Don't they have a pretty good rapport with, with Bob Arum? Which makes it sense for them to make the fight on ESPN. Given the fact that Shakira Stevenson is on top rank. Like all, all this all this plays, all this comes out, and you, like all the pieces of the puzzle are there, man. This is business. This is this is what I mean. This is what Mr. Bahama always said about it's business, never person. <laughs> this is business right here. This is business. Because I, Jamal Herring, he signed with Bob Arum. He never lost a fight with Bob Arum. But all of a sudden, he didn't, he didn't re-sign with him? I wonder why. 
I know he probably signed for maybe a two or three year contract. He became a world champion under top rank under the top rank banner. Jamal Harry became a world champion under the top rank banner. So why wouldn't you resign with them? Why would you go resign with MTK Global? I don't know, man. I wish I can I wish I had the answers, but I don't like Kanye say. You ain't got the answers, X. You ain't got the answers. <laughs> But I got the subplots, and I got the pieces of the puzzle. I got the pieces of the puzzle. I got the moves, like on the chessboard. You know what I'm saying? And, and we gonna figure out together to get. We gonna figure out together where it all goes, where it all where it all stops at. You know what I'm saying? Because this it's, it's it's crazy how all this is coming to play. And I saw this years ago. I saw this years ago. The only thing I didn't see years ago was the fact that Jamal Henry was signed with with um with MTK Global. But I did see years ago that they were putting him in a position to face Shakira Stevenson later on in his career. And, it's, and, and when you think about it, who, who you, they all on the same team. They may not, I mean, Jamel Henry knows um, um, one of the trainers who he's been rocking with one of the trainers. They're all Olympic fighters. They all, Olymp they all Olympic fighters. They all know each other. From just, like they're all running the same team in the same camp. K.O. Karama, he's the trainer, you know, he helps out with all these guys. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all do y'all do diligence, go follow up on this. But hey, that's gonna be a tough fight. Jamel Herring versus Carl Frampton. And in the 90 days the winner of that fight gets Shakira Stevenson. Let me know your thoughts. Shoot the five Brooklyn fights, Xavier Port. I'm gonna come back to y'all with another one. Near nutter means near nutter. You know what I mean? Tell them powder. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.